Today I'm going to show you how you can use a skin stealer in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, exactly what it sounds like. You can nick anyone's skin that you want, and in the end of this video, I'm going to be doing some trolling in public servers with that, so make sure to stick around. Anyways, for this, I'm going to be using Odor So Client right over here. If you don't have this yet, or you're not sure where to get it, I will link it down in the description below. We can just click on this big purple launch button, and that is automatically going to launch Minecraft Bedrock Edition with Odor Odor so client injected. Um, the great thing about Odor so is that it always updates really fast and it is also currently on the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. All right, so I'm just on the hive over here because there are some other people so we can test this out. Anyways, to use this, what you want to do is you want to press, if you have Odor so enabled, of course, on the L button on your keyboard that is going to open up the click GUI. If you want, you can rebind that using the dot bind click GUI command in chat, and then press any key you want. Um, for example, K, and then the key binder of the click GUI will be K, and you can use that to open and close it. Anyways, um, you wanna scroll down until you find the skin stealer, or just up here, you can look for it. Here we have the Odorso skin stealer. Now you can turn this on, okay? You can turn this on with this button over here, but I highly recommend that you guys set a key bind, so we can choose any. I'll just set it to Y for right now. There we go. And it looks like we have um, a perfect person to steal stins from. Did I just say steal stins? I mean steal skins, of course. Watching them, my mom's credit card is this, bro. Anyways, in um, the skin stealer, so if you look at it up over here, you can click on this general area as well, and that will bring you into the customization settings, which is where I just said the keybind. But here, you can also choose what to steal. So if you only want to steal the skin or only want to steal the cape, you can turn off these. But in this case, I'll just steal the skin, cape, geometry, and copy the path as well. I highly recommend you keep copying the path on. Anyways, you can also actually press on this star right over here, and then it's going to be pinned right to the top. That might be useful if you want to access it often. Anyways, I can simply turn this on and off by pressing on the Y button on my keyboard. Once it's been turned on, to use it, you simply want to go to whoever you want to steal from. I'll steal from uh, Noah right over here. I really hope this guy was not born in 2018. That would be so cringe. Anyways, you can simply use the middle mouse button to click on their skin, and then as you can see in the chat, you have successfully stolen the skin as well as the geometry, and the path has been copied to your clipboard. This is great, because what that means is you can simply open up File Explorer, then in this top part right over here, you simply want to paste by pressing Ctrl V, and then you will be brought to the exact path of the skin. So we now have um, Noah Mate's geometry right over here, as well as this guy's skin. Bam! It's literally that easy. And so, in theory, you could just go around and middle click on every single person around here. I want your skin, your skin, your skin, your skin. Give me your skin. Uh, okay, your skin, your skin, your skin. I want your skin 10 times, and then I want your skin. And just like that, I now have 46 items, including <laughs> yeah, this skin 11 times. But you guys get the idea. So let's say, theoretically, I really liked uh, the, the, the skin that this guy had. Just delete any character if all your slots are full. Then create character and um, create classic skin, just like that. Then under own skins right over here, you want to click on this. Then on choose new skin. And then we can basically just paste in the path right over here. Um, if it's still copied to your clipboard. Otherwise... Well, I'll show you that in a second, but here we can simply select this skin and then you can sometimes you can see if it's meant to be wide or skinny. I think this one was meant to be wide, but now we have a, sk a skinny one and um, just like that. I am. Oh, he's still here, bro. He's still here. Yeah, this is fire. Okay. In case you're wondering whether to choose wide or skinny, um, almost every single skin is wide in this game. Anyways, as I was going to show you guys, to get to that path, if you don't have it copied or you just want to go there for some reason, you can press on the Windows and R buttons at the same time, then type in App Data, just like so, then hit Enter or click on OK. It'll be brought to this location. Here you want to go into the folder called Local, then scroll down until you find 
packages right over here. They want to go into the folder called microsoft.minecraftuwp. They want to go into the folder called roaming state. Here you will find all your clients. In this case, choose odor so. And then from there, you want to go into the skins folder. And that's where you'll find your skins. Anyways, this guy seems to be a little uh, AFK. So trolling him isn't going to work out the best. We need to find a new friend. Okay, I've got some people here. Uh, stole her skin. Now dressing room. Uh, change skin. Choose new skin. Paste it in over here. Let's grab it. There we are. And what's up? <laughs> no way. Oh, we're duos now. <laughs> Look at that. Nice skin. <laughs> yeah, they're they're checking me out though. <laughs> this is so random. Okay, this person's been there the entire time as well. Let's nick this person's skin now. Hold on. Here. Choose new skin. Uh, let's paste it in real quick. There we go. And nice, we have her skin now. <laughs> okay, we're kissing now.